We'll ask Coach Carmen to make an opening statement, then go to questions uh, for the student athletes. Coach. Yeah, uh, well, tough loss. Um, you know, I just thought it, uh, at the half, we should have had a, um, you know, more than a two-point lead. Uh, you know, when we went to the one-three-one one zone, we sto stole the ball about three or four times. Uh, um, sort of had breakaways, and, and uh, we didn't capitalize. I think we had four steals outright. You know, a block shot, a missed dunk, a turnover. You know, a bad pass, and, and um, we didn't take advantage then. Um, and then in the second half, you know, they they guarded us. Uh, Harder, and I didn't think our offense flowed the way it should. Um, and um, you know, you give them credit. I mean, they, we we weren't able to contain uh, one, uh, and uh, you know, he made shots in the first half, and then the second half, he you know, when they were coming back, he just took the ball to the rim, and uh, we didn't really have an answer for him. Um, you know, we didn't shoot the ball well, and, and so uh, give them credit for, you know, defending us well. Questions for the student athletes? Again, raise your hand. We'll get the mic out to you. Go right out here. Jershon, you were having a great night up until the overtime and you turn the ball over right at the baseline. Did that just deflate you and the team or did you think you had a chance? Um, you know, we still had a chance until the game was over, but it hurt. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, that was a bad turnover. It hurt the team. Back out here. John. How bad of a loss, or how tough of a loss is this for you to swallow as a senior, and, and, and coming so close to the NCAA tournament, whether or not you guys get there, obviously, we decided on Sunday. Yeah, it's disappointing. Um, obviously, we've had a, a lot of close games this year, and um, you, have to, you have to give credit to Minnesota. They, uh, you know, they came up with uh, the extra play, and they, they hit a lot of threes. Um, I think coming in, I think coach said they averaged about six threes a game, and it felt like they did that in like five minutes today. So it's it's disappointing, but you have to give your credit. You have to give credit to Minnesota. Right around there to Teddy. Uh, for both guys, did you just feel like an issue with this team has just been poised, sort of in the last couple minutes of games and in overtime? John, start with you, please. Um. I mean, obviously, you have to. I guess you have to look at that just because we've had so many close games and we've lost, lost, lost a couple of them. So, um, yeah, obviously, it's it's disappointing, and um, but I think um, I think our, I think our teams you know dealt with adversity the the entire time, and we've you know when if we're down, we're we're not out. We we like we like our chances all the way till the very end. Jershon, your thoughts? Um, just to piggyback off of John, uh, this team is tough. Uh, we come back, we fight through adversity, but you know, sometimes the ball just doesn't bounce your way. <clears throat> back out here. Is it getting to the point where you felt as though maybe the, the pressure of each game being, quote unquote, the biggest game in program history? Was that, did that ever get to you guys at some point? John, start with you. I don't think so. Um, just because it's been like that for for a while. You probably could go from the start of February or the end of January, and it's been like that. And we we've, we've won some tough games, and I don't think I don't think we felt pressure. I think um, we we just have to go out. We go out there and play our game, and you know, I'm in it. Minnesota played better tonight, so you have to give them credit. Trishon, do you want to add anything? Um, I don't think it's pressure. We just go out there and we play. Uh, play, uh, play Northwestern basketball. Let's go out here. 
John, if you're not selected for the tournament on Sunday, do you view this season as a disappointment, or is there still something you can take from it that's a positive? Um, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully I won't be disappointed on Sunday. Um, but I guess we just have to just have to wait and see. We'll be we'll be playing next week, and we look to we look to compete whoever we're playing against. Got time for one more for the student athletes, if there is one. Anybody? Okay, thank you, fellas. You may go back to the locker room. Thank you. Question for Coach Carmody. Start with Teddy. Hey, Bill. Why do you think the offense stalled so much, especially in overtime? Um, yeah. Well, you know, it, it's funny. I think we had we must have missed seven layups tonight. You know, um, I don't know if it was just overtime that it stalled. I think in the, you know, stretches in the second half, it was that way. I, th I think you know what John said was that. Um, you have to give credit sometimes that they were playing us real hard and I didn't think we were moving as well as we could and um, you know we didn't seem to be able to get open and to make you know the offense really click and what happened was then you come down to sort of one-on-one -on -one situations and uh, we didn't fare that well but uh, you know so I don't know if we were tired or, or, or you know whatever I, I think they just out, outplayed us in that um, in that last period. Additional questions right out here. Coach, Andre Hollins seemed to, to tear you guys up tonight. What, what, was, what was he doing so well that was able to, to beat both the man and the zone? He's a good player. You know, he's a good player. He, sh he shot the ball extremely well. And he has all year. He shot the ball well. Um, and he's just a tough guy to guard. Um, you know, like I said, in the first half, he, he was making uh, threes. And then the second half, you know, he went, I mean, he scored like 16 points, it seemed like, out of the first 20 or something they had, something crazy like that. And um, then the second half, he, you know, a couple of times uh, when we turned the ball over uh, towards the end of the game, he just took it to the basket and sort of, you know, deep this way, that way, and, and got to the rim. I mean, he was just, just he's a good player. Bill, you went away from the one-three-one and more man. It looked like most of the second half. Um, why was that, do you think? Well, they were making shots on us. You know, I think we went back and forth. It probably is fairly close to time. Uh, you know that we played one-three-one in that, but um, we just wanted to, um, you know, not give them threes because they were, you know, guys were making shots. Let's go out to the back. Bill, if there is a case to be made for Northwestern to get into the tournament after tonight, what is it? Well, you know, I told our guys before the game or sometime that, um, you know, if we win tonight, it doesn't mean you're in. If you lose tonight, it doesn't mean you're out. And that's what I think. It's a body of work. Um, and, you know, a few years ago they said, you know, the last 10 games, it used to be something that if you were on a hot streak, that was more important than, say, December games. But now they say it's not true. So we'll put our resume out there and see where it goes. Mike. Bill. Frustration is part of this game, but when you come close again and again and again, how frustrating has this been for you? This yeah, I'm still here. You know, it's you know it's, it's hard. It's it's uh, disappointing, it's tough, and and uh, but you know we come back. Got one way in the back here. What's the plan uh, Sunday? Are you all going to get together and watch the uh, selection show? What do you traditionally do? We haven't talked about it yet. I'm not really too sure what we're going to do. Uh, we'll practice on Sunday. That I know. Got time for one more, if there is one. Back to Teddy. You mentioned what you told your guys before the game. What do you tell that, them? That, that might have been yesterday or something okay. like that. I, I don't know if it was... I don't think it was right before the game, like a pregame talk. I think it was our last practice or something. Have you addressed them since after the game, or what do you tell them Sunday to sort of keep their spirits up? I, I get a long bus ride home to figure that out. But, you know, right now I just, uh, you know, sort of reiterated what I just said and, and um, you know, 
there's not too much, uh, you know, you, you get about five minutes and then the, the press is in there, so um, really haven't talked about it too much. Coach, thank you very much. Okay, thanks.